Hey folks, I'm gonna try an experiment. I was really impressed with the the last video I did with the uh, the vacuum sealer uh, for for lunches and uh, and you know putting it in the freezer and everything. Something that I've been wanting to try for a long time is to be able to vacuum seal hot dogs with the bun and then freeze them. Let them go for, I'm gonna let this go for a week. Let them go, you know, in the freezer, bring them out and then have them for lunch one day. I've been wanting to try this, but now that I know how to operate that uh, vacuum sealer a little bit better, you know, being able to control the vacuum and the seal at the right moment, this is what I I got, and I'm I'm really happy how this turned out. I'm gonna put this in the freezer, and uh, today is Sunday, uh, July the 14th. I will take these out next Sunday, and uh, put them in my electric lunch box to warm them up for lunch. I will do that right here. I'll uh, plug it in in when I get up in the morning. Uh, and then have them for lunch after I do my uh, my chores or my uh, errands, and uh, we'll see we'll see how this how this fares. I think this will be pretty good. Now these are uh, all beef Hebrew National uncooked, so these will go into my electric lunchbox. They they will cook there. So let me go throw these in the refrigerator or in the freezer. In the meantime, here's how I got to this point. Okay, I got the old vacuum sealer here. And I'm going to add two hot dogs with the buns. Now, these are raw hot dogs. They haven't been cooked, which will be fine. I figured I'd just add two because it's, while I'm doing it, it'll be good for lunch. Okay, they're all set. Now this particular model, you vacuum seal, you flip that plastic up, insert that, and you punch that silver thing with your knuckles. And then you kind of keep an eye on it while it's vacuuming, and then hit seal. Because you don't want it to completely vacuum out, otherwise it'll just crush the buns and the, everything. And <laughs> you don't want that. So it takes it a few minutes, and there we go. There we go. All set for the freezer. I just want to label it, date it, give it the date, and then I'll try this a week, maybe two weeks later, and uh, see how we did. Stay tuned. Okay. This is this was actually a couple of weeks later, and these are hard as a rock. Gonna add them to the uh, little electric lunchbox here. I love this thing, the Hot Logic. Plug her in and let it go for you know three hours. You know, nine o'clock in the morning till till noon lunchtime, and uh, we'll see. Okay, that's actually been three and a half hours. I got busy. That's okay. That happens at work. Of course, I'm at home. I'm, I'm not at work. I'm just testing this. Looks good. It's nice and steamy. I hope that is helping with the buns. We'll see. Okay. Just cut them open. And then uh, I'm just going to take one out. Uh, my wife's going to have the other one. Okay, right off the bat, that bun is pretty hard. Let me check the other one. Yeah, they're both pretty hard. I would, I was kind of expecting that coming from the freezer. Okay, I'm just going to put some uh, mustard on this, and then give it a taste test, see if it's edible. So, let's see. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, like I said, that bun is pretty 
pretty hard. And I don't know if microwaving it would have been any different. Maybe I'll give that a try. So let's see, see how we did. One more bite. Well, it's not terrible. <laughs> the The bun is a little, little hard. Actually, it kind of tastes like it was toasted a little bit. It's not hard as a rock. Uh, I would prefer, like normally, I like to steam my buns. I like a, a softer steamed bun. Uh, but I don't think you're going to get this out of a, you know, right, right out of the freezer like that. I might try it from the microwave, but we all know how microwaves do with the buns. It's really not that much better. Oh no, the hot dog turned out really good. I mean, oh no, it's it's an edible hot dog. I mean, it it's probably doable for lunch. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna try it again. I do like the convenience of of having like a couple hot dogs, buns and all in the freezer that I can take out. Pop in the uh, the little electric lunchbox, go to work, and then and then there you have it. Um, I I it's a semi success. I'll I'll, I'll keep trying. Um, like the the last time I did the the vacuum seal with the the barbecue uh, brisket burnt ends and stuff that was really good. So I'll probably stick to doing more of those types of things. But I just wanted to see how this would work. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.